Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be talking about the Samsung 980 Pro that you bought to put in your PlayStation 5. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with this. So, you bought your 980 Pro. You took it home, you put your heat sink on it, you put it in your, your PlayStation 5 and you got 5500 to 5600 megabytes per second read speed. But you've watched other videos on YouTube that said that you were going to get 6700 megabytes. So what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing a lot of, I personally bought the one terabyte 980 Pro. I am getting 5,600 megabytes per second um, read speeds. I haven't had a problem with that, like none at all. And, and in fact, some of my stuff runs better from that M.SS, uh, from, from my uh, 980 Pro than it, does on the, uh, than it does on the actual PlayStation 5. Uh, games transfer from the PlayStation 5 internal hard drive to my, to my M2 fast like within like 10 games within like four minutes fast transferring them back that's another story this play the the 980 pro is a solid card if you bought one and you're and you're and you're feeling a little bad about it only getting 5500 megabytes per second like don't like this this card's working great um i'm still kind of on the fence if i'm going to get a two terabyte upgrade or if I'm going to go for the four terabytes I, I don't necessarily know exactly what I'm going to need this generation and I don't want to buy a whole bunch of different cards um, I am kind of leaning more toward just getting another two terabyte and then um, and then moving stuff off to a to a different drive when I'm done playing it um, so I, me personally guys if you want my honest opinion I'm going to go ahead and stick with Samsung Samsung is like this card is amazing it's great it has it has its own little freaking heat label on there that dissipates heat you combine that with a with a heat sink and yeah you're good to go man like I, I i don't see any problem with the with the samsung 980 pro if if i mean if you're feeling a little cheated just understand that like it running at like 55 56 that drive's gonna run for a lot longer it's not gonna get as hot it's not going to um you're going to have more longevity with that card um and and that's going to be a good thing a lot of it falls down to the to the firmware a lot of it falls down to the firmware on your card if you bought an older card something that was made in 20 uh 2020 chances are you're going to have the firmware that is going to limit that card to 5500 to 5600 megabytes per second if you bought something made in the tw in 2021 you're probably going to get those higher read speeds on that. Um, now, there's, there's, if you're buying it online, there's not really a way to check or to make sure you're getting a 2021 card or the one with the updated firmware. But as it sits, if you... Okay, so first of all, you cannot put it in a, in a, in a drive like this, an enclosure, and, and run that software. Trust me, I already tried. <laughs> You, you cannot do it. it it doesn't work so is what happens when I do that when I put it in this this uh, this um, enclosure it brings up this SSK on my computer and it, and it sees it as that it does not see that as the Samsung 980 Pro so Samsung magician will not work with that card running through that because it doesn't it doesn't recognize it as a Samsung card it recognizes it as whatever enclosure that you bought to put it in so I think the only way to do this is to put it directly into a motherboard and change those settings or update that firmware um there might be other ways but as it sits right now man 180 dollars for a samsung one terabyte um ssd on amazon and another like 15 bucks for a heat sink you, you're already saving money um, right there this this uh, this enclosure cost me another 20 bucks that I that I paid for that it was like 24 bucks or whatever so at the end of the day I think your 5500 megabytes is going to be more than sufficient and your Samsung's probably going to last a last a whole lot longer than it would normally so I don't necessarily think you're in a bad place if you buy the Samsung 980 Pro. There are other options that are going to run at those faster higher speeds but at the same time if the 980 Pro is already running and working better and faster than the than the PlayStation 5 drive, do you really need it? I don't. I mean, yeah, there's the whole six channel and two channel and blah 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 and whatever. 
it doesn't really matter. None of these games are using it yet. Um, it, it'll probably be a little while before they actually do. Um, at the end of the day, the 5,500 megabytes should be sufficient. I, there's, there's no way it's going to go over that because the PlayStation 5 isn't going to go over that. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario down the road is you get, you get a second or two loading speed. Like, like you have to wait a second or two. Um, it might not be instant like it like it normally would with the six channels on the PlayStation 5 drive. So you might you might be stuck waiting a second or two. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's a big deal to, to anybody on the planet. Like, I, I really don't. A second or two, it's, it's not going to matter much. So, yeah, um, definitely if you got one of the new PlayStation 5 models, the ones with the new heat sink in there, um, this running the Samsung with the 5500, yeah, you're gonna, your your card's gonna run a little bit cooler too, so it's gonna last a lot longer than running it at that 6700 megabytes or whatever. That that's gonna heat your card up faster. So I think you'll necessarily be all right with the Samsung. Me personally, I'm gonna stick with the Samsung. I'm probably gonna order another one because you can usually get them on sale for like 350 bucks for a two terabyte. So at the end of the day. For two terabytes, plus I'll have that one terabyte, you know, if I if I really need the storage, I can just, you know, is what I'm going to do is I'm, I've already got the one terabyte. So when I buy the two terabyte, I'm going to put that card back in this enclosure and then I'm going to run it through there as an external drive so that I can swap the games out if I need to. So in total, I've got, I'll have three terabytes, so I'm going to be more than sufficient with that. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And if you do have like a one terabyte or the 500 gigs or whatever, whatever you bought already, yeah, if you want to upgrade and get a different one, yeah, then throw it in an enclosure and use it as a use it as a backup drive, man, because you're still going to get a faster transfer speed transferring to this on the 3.0 than you probably will getting transferring back and forth to your uh me personally, I wouldn't want to transfer a whole bunch of stuff back and forth to your soldered on uh memory or your soldered on SSD in your PlayStation 5. Get these cards if they go out, whatever you can replace them. If that goes out, they got to replace the whole motherboard, or they got to solder a new one on. Um, that's that's a lot more that's a lot more uh, intensive than than you really probably want to get into. So, at the end of the day, I'm happy with my Samsung 980 Pro. I'm more than I'm I'm more than satisfied with the performance of it and and how it's worked so far. If it gets to a point later on down the road where I got to wait two seconds for loading, like it is what it is, like. That Samsung card is doing an amazing job, and it's already working great with everything on there. So I do have confidence that we're going to be able to get like-for-like like performance going forward. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.